Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. It feels like such a long time since our last FNAF News video because there's been so much going on. And don't worry, we will be doing a very, very quick recap because there's a lot of stuff that's been going on recently and I want to make sure we're all on the same page. But in addition to all of the major announcements we've gotten over the past couple weeks, of course there are still our smaller merchandise and book, etc. news that we still got to talk about here on the channel so if you are excited about all the current FNAF news going on right now don't forget to scroll down tickle that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the current FNAF news and like I said earlier we're just gonna do a quick recap of some of the major announcements we've gotten recently first up we had our first poster for Blumhouse's upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's movie now technically we got five posters though four of them were just individual posters of Freddy Bonnie Chica and Foxy these are the live action adaptation animatronics made by the Jim Henson's Creature Shop Company for the film. That's right, that's not CGI rendering. Believe it or not, those are real life animatronics. They look insane. We also got this official website for the FNAF movie. It doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, though it has been updated since we last took a look at it. You've got a reminder for when the movie releases, a link to the official teaser trailer for the film, a synopsis for the film, as well as all the cast and crew members involved, and lastly, a gallery that shows off all the posters we just took a look at, actually. And of course, let's not skip over the obvious Obvious, like I just mentioned, the first teaser trailer was released for the film. And if you want to see my reaction and analysis to that trailer, they'll be linked down below. We got a few more behind the scenes images of the animatronic creature heads made by the Jim Henson's Creature Shop, as well as a BTS shot of the inside of the set for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. We got a brand new Getty image showing off a still from the film featuring Josh Hutcherson as Mike, as well as the announcement an official novel based on the film releases this December. And lastly, for movie recap news, the teaser trailer is officially showing in theaters right now in front of Fast X. I went to see it. It was absolutely surreal to see the FNAF gang up on the screen, the big screen in IMAX as well, because I saw Fast X in IMAX. It was insane. We're not done with recap news, though, because we did get two game trailers. The first one was for Steel Wolves upcoming Ruin DLC for Security Breach. It was about a minute-long gameplay trailer for the DLC of officially releasing very soon in July. Still need to do an analysis on that trailer and also when the DLC comes out in July, you bet your sweet butts will be playing it, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And another game we'll be playing this year is Help Wanted 2, yet another installment in VR for the FNAF franchise. This was announced on PlayStation State of Play Showcase the other day and it was an insane announcement nobody saw coming. It's got a release date of late 2023 this year, so just even more stuff that fans are absolutely eating up. But now that the recap news is out of the way, let's move on to some brand new book news. Starting off, we've been getting a few previews, mainly audio previews for the upcoming Tales from the Pizzaplex number seven, Tiger Rock. And with these previews comes the reveal for the other stories involved with the book. And the three stories involved are Tiger Rock, the Monty Within, apparently the Manchi Within was unfortunately a typo, as funny as it sounds. And finally, Bleeding Heart. You can see the descriptions for each of the stories on screen right now. The book is set to release on July 4th this year. In other book news, we got the official cover reveal for the fourth entry in the Fazbear Frights graphic novel series. And this is what it looks like. My gosh, I have no clue who this is supposed to be because it certainly doesn't look like Tagalong Freddy. Though with this book containing the stories The Breaking Wheel, The Cliffs, and Sergio's Lucky Day... It kind of has to be Tagalong Freddy, though he is looking quite a bit different from what he looked like on the cover of the Cliffs book. But honestly, even though it might not be accurate to his description in the story, I'm all for this brand new design. This book comes out in December, so quite a ways away, but another thing to look forward to this year. Moving on now to merchandise, we've got quite a lot, but first up, we've got this brand new spinning pin from Hot Topic, featuring a chibi version of Glamrock Freddy. Surrounded by faces of the sun and moon daycare attendant, this pin is actually pretty interesting, because like I said, it can spin around. And also from Hot Topic, we got a brand new t-shirt featuring some amazing artwork done by Turntail, depicting Springtrap and the 
skeleton that resides inside. It looks absolutely sick. This was one of my favorite pieces from Turntail. So super amazing. It's going to be on a shirt coming out pretty soon. Moving on now to Hex, they released their sitting magnetless plushies. With this first wave, you got Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy from FNAF 1. Like I said, these guys feature no magnets. They have a uh, little beans in their butts so they can sit properly. I believe they're going for about $35, though if you get the bundle with all of them, you do get free shipping. And also, Hex released their little keychain plushies of Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. I still love these guys to death, they're absolutely adorable. And I believe these guys are going for about $15. Moving on now to U2's, their brand new plushy wave of Ennard, Mangle, Helpy, uh, Glitch Trap, and Baby has officially sold out. However, by the time this video is being posted, there still should be uh, about four or so more days to get Foxy Fusion Z Gamer Edition. But moving on now to the future of U2, some of their upcoming waves to celebrate Help Wanted 2's announcement. They released another teaser of Shadow Mangle. It appears to be another illustration of what Shadow Mangle is going to look like, but it is a brand new look at the upcoming figure, so there you go. Shadow Mangle will be releasing alongside uh, Grim Foxy, Glitch Trap, and Dreadbear figures later on this year. And actually, speaking of their Dreadbear figure, you may know popular YouTuber merchandise review Springs, actually got sent a prototype of the upcoming Dreadbear figure. Here are a few images they supplied. In my opinion, they did a pretty fantastic job on this Dreadbear figure. Like his pose, the colors are a bit wonky, but Springtrap was also like that, so I'm not too surprised, I guess. Something strange I did notice were the quotes they used on the boxes. They didn't really connect back to Dreadbear, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to leak this, but I did speak to YouTubes and I gave them some better references for quotes to use, so hopefully those will be changing before release. And something else Springs got was actually a prototype of YouTubes' upcoming Springtrap plushie. YouTubes did show off this plushie in a TikTok a few days ago, and they also clarified there it is still a prototype. They will be changing its design uh, based on feedback from the community. But yeah, yet another YouTubes product to look forward to coming out hopefully pretty soon. Moving on now to some Ruin news. We got the official reveal for who the voice actress is for Cassie because Astrid's voices over on their Twitter page made the announcement. I'm so honored to have worked with Steel Studios on FNAF Security Breach Ruin as Cassie. The trailer has almost 3 million views over the first weekend, y'all. Yes, certainly an amazing accomplishment. Yet another smash hit. Hit FNAF trailer that also got to number one trending, so it is a good time to be a Five Nights at Freddy's trailer. But also, congratulations Astrid's, welcome aboard the FNAF team. Moving on now to another very small behind the scenes look at Blumhouse's upcoming FNAF film. We got an extra working on the FNAF movie, posted a TikTok alongside some actors in costume for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. Nothing too major, we do see the costume slightly in the teaser video, but I just wanted to show off this more detailed look at the outfits. Honestly, these outfits look fantastic. I love the buttons and also the, the suspenders with the black and white checkerboard pattern. That's so awesome, man. And now finally for FNAF news, let's wrap this all up with some game jolt announcements. First up, we got the official Five Nights at Candies and Pop Goes Art Contest, where if you participate by submitting your very own fan art of Pop Goes or Candies, you get a chance of winning a whole bunch of FNAF merchandise like mystery minis, posters, plushies, t-shirts, if you're interested at all, if you're a fan art creator, I'll leave a link down to Kane's post in the description for more details. Lastly, we got the crazy announcement that Game Jolt will be hosting an interview with Matthew Lillard, who's playing, of course, the purple guy, William Afton, in the FNAF movie. This is happening on Friday, June 9th at 11 a.m. PT. Of course, if there's any interesting answers from my boy Matthew, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But that is going to do it for this FNAF news video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. There's a whole lot of stuff going on with FNAF right now. Earlier this month, I was putting out like no videos, but now I look at my video schedule and it's like <laughs> non-stop topics I got to talk about with Ruin, the movie, Help Wanted 2, there's a lot. So stay on the lookout for videos covering those topics all very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support. It is an amazing time to be in the FNAF community and I'll see you all in the flip side, in the flip side, on the flip side. <laughs> Goodbye.